hypertension, and obstructive sleep apnea. Understanding the co-occurrence in treatment approaches. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, and obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, are two common medical conditions that often coexist. The relationship between hypertension and OSA is complex, and both conditions can have a significant impact on an individual's overall health. Let's explore the co-occurrence of hypertension and OSA and the treatment approaches for managing these conditions. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. Co-occurrence of hypertension and obstructive sleep apnea. Hypertension and OSA frequently occur together, and research suggests that there is a bidirectional relationship between these two conditions. OSA is a sleep disorder characterized by recurrent episodes of complete or partial obstruction of the upper airway during sleep. These episodes lead to disruptions in breathing and temporary decreases in blood oxygen levels, triggering brief awakenings throughout the night. OSA has been linked to the development and worsening of hypertension. The repeated episodes of apnea, breathing pauses, and hypopnea, shallow breathing, during sleep can cause multiple physiological changes that contribute to hypertension. These include increased sympathetic nervous system activity, inflammation, oxidative stress, endothelial dysfunction, and alterations in hormone regulation, such as increased levels of aldosterone. Furthermore, the frequent awakenings and poor sleep quality associated with OSA can contribute to elevated blood pressure levels. Symptoms 1. Daytime Symptoms of Hypertension during the day, John experiences the typical symptoms of hypertension, such as headaches, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating. These symptoms can make it challenging for him to focus on his work and daily activities. Despite taking medication for hypertension, his blood pressure remains elevated. 2. Nighttime Symptoms of Obstructive Sleep Apnea At night, John struggles with OSA symptoms. As he sleeps, the muscles in his upper airway intermittently relax and obstruct his breathing. This causes him to experience episodes of loud snoring, gasping for air, and frequent awakenings. Each time John's breathing is disrupted, his body is temporarily deprived of oxygen, triggering a stress response that increases his blood pressure. These recurrent awakenings disrupt his sleep quality, leading to daytime sleepiness and further exacerbating his difficulty in concentrating. 3. Vicious Cycle of Hypertension and OSA The combination of hypertension and OSA creates a vicious cycle. The hypertension contributes to the development and worsening of OSA by affecting the structure and function of John's upper airway. At the same time, the OSA episodes and the resulting fragmented sleep further elevate John's blood pressure. 4. Comprehensive Treatment Approach To break this cycle and manage both conditions effectively, John's healthcare provider recommends a comprehensive treatment approach. This may involve lifestyle modifications such as weight loss, regular exercise, and adopting a healthy diet to control hypertension and reduce OSA severity. Additionally, John may be prescribed continuous positive airway pressure CPAP therapy to keep his airway open during sleep, ensuring adequate oxygen supply and minimizing the impact of OSA on his blood pressure. Treatment Approaches for Co-Occurring Hypertension and Obstructive Sleep Apnea Managing both hypertension and OSA is essential for improving overall health and reducing the risk of associated complications. Here are some treatment approaches commonly used. 1. Continuous Positive Airway Pressure CPAP. CPAP therapy is considered the gold standard treatment for obstructive sleep apnea OSA. It involves wearing a mask over the nose or mouth during sleep, which delivers a continuous flow of pressurized air to keep the airway open and prevent obstructions. By maintaining a consistent and adequate airflow, CPAP therapy effectively reduces the episodes of apnea and hypopnea, 
allowing individuals with OSA to breathe properly throughout the night. Studies have shown that CPAP therapy not only improves sleep quality and daytime symptoms, but also has a positive impact on hypertension. It has been found to reduce blood pressure levels in individuals with OSA and hypertension, helping to manage both conditions simultaneously. 2. Oral Appliances Oral appliances are custom-made devices designed to help reposition the jaw and tongue, thereby keeping the airway open during sleep. They are typically recommended for individuals with mild to moderate obstructive sleep apnea (OSA) or those who cannot tolerate continuous positive airway pressure CPAP therapy. These oral appliances work by advancing the lower jaw forward or by retaining the tongue in a forward position, preventing airway collapse and promoting proper airflow during sleep. They are comfortable to wear and provide a non-invasive alternative to CPAP therapy for eligible individuals. Oral appliances can effectively reduce the severity of OSA, improve sleep quality, and alleviate associated symptoms. 3. Lifestyle Modifications Adopting healthy lifestyle changes can significantly benefit individuals with hypertension and obstructive sleep apnea OSA. One key aspect is maintaining a healthy weight, as excess weight can contribute to both conditions. Regular exercise is also essential, as it helps to improve cardiovascular health and can reduce the severity of OSA. Following a balanced diet, such as the DASH, dietary approaches to stop hypertension, diet, which emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and low-fat dairy products, can help control blood pressure and improve overall health. 4. Medications in the management of hypertension and obstructive sleep apnea (OSA), antihypertensive medications play a vital role in controlling blood pressure levels. Individuals with both conditions may be prescribed medications such as angiotensin-converting enzyme (ACE) inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers (ARBs). These medications not only help lower blood pressure, but may also have additional benefits for OSA. Research suggests that ACE inhibitors and ORBs may improve sleep apnea severity by reducing fluid retention, improving upper airway stability, and decreasing inflammation. 5. Surgical Interventions in certain cases, when conservative treatments are insufficient, surgical procedures can be considered to address structural abnormalities in the upper airway that contribute to obstructive sleep apnea (OSA). Tonsillectomy, the removal of the tonsils, may be recommended for individuals with enlarged tonsils that obstruct airflow during sleep. Uvulopalatopharyngoplasty (UPPP) is a surgical procedure that involves removing excess tissue from the throat, including the uvula, soft palate, and part of the pharynx, to widen the airway. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.